Welcome to Real Estate Radio Live, an informative and engaging podcast discussing everything you need to know about the world of real estate. Your host, Joe Kachera, provides you with insight and guidance on how to buy, sell, finance, and invest in real estate. He also offers real estate tax management strategies, new construction advice, home improvement tips, and much, much more. And now, to guide you around the world of real estate, here's your host and Real Estate Radio Live team leader, Joe Kachera. Welcome in, Joe Kachera with Real Estate Radio Live. Thank you for those that are following us on Facebook. We appreciate that very much. We continue to do everything we can to expose the show to more people, more ways to listen, watch, and uh, certainly that's one way is on Facebook to watch the live feed. So just kind of a quick update for those that follow the show. Mondays, we really try to stick to a schedule during the week for the people that follow the show. So the live show we do Mondays right around 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're right around 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and we try to stick to that schedule as much as we can. However, the best thing to do is download the podcast. That's what it is. And uh, that way you could listen to the show, follow the show, pass it along anytime you want at your convenience. For more information, you could always go to reradiolive.com. You could download the podcast at iTunes, Stitcher, all those normal places. Again, it's reradiolive.com. The focus is the same for those who just might be tuning in for the, the first time or listening to the show for the first time. For almost eight years, we have created Real Estate Radio Live really for the main objective is to educate and inform the consumer around real estate. So all aspects of real estate, you know, buying, selling, financing, constructing, on and on, accessing equity in the case of the show that we do today. So what we've done about, gosh, I don't know, a couple of months ago, we started our series on every Monday, and that is uh, accessing home wealth without debt. And we welcome in uh, every Monday either Mark and or Steve with Barristone. They're talking about accessing home wealth without debt. This is just another program out there that a lot of people aren't aware of. So our job, our, I should say, what we're going to try to do and we're excited about over the next several months is rolling into 2019 is really educate the consumers more about this program as an alternative to some of the stuff that you may already know. So welcome back in, Mark. How are you doing? Good morning, Joe. Thanks. You're welcome. So what we're going to do is get started, tell you a little bit about the program. Uh, before I have Mark kind of introduce himself and go over his background, we'll jump in, is if you want more information about this, you can go to bundleselect.com. Just simply fill out the contact form there, and Mark or Steve will reach out to you, and we'll give you some additional ways to reach out some phone numbers as we go through the show as well. So if you can, Mark, just give us, uh, as you normally do, kind of a quick overview, your background, and then what led you guys into Barristone and then this program, and we'll jump into our conversation today. Great. Thanks, Joe. Steve and myself, a number of years ago, were looking at different scenarios. We've come from the financial background and worked with many clients that were looking to access their home wealth. They had built up a lot of equity in their home, and they were complaining that the only avenue for them, and these were successful entrepreneurs and business people, and they said, in my business, if I need to get capital, I have access to both the equity market and the debt market. Mm -hmm. And if I don't want to take on debt, I'll sell some equity. And we looked at the home market and said, there's no avenue for homeowners to access their home wealth without taking on debt. Mm -hmm. Many homeowners don't want to be encumbered by debt and have monthly payments. So we created a program that allows homeowners to access their home wealth without taking on debt. They can access up to 20% of their home value without any monthly payments or costs on a monthly basis. And what they do is agree to share in the future, not their current, but the future change in home price. So if the house goes up in value, they'll share some of that with the investor. If the house goes down in value, the investor will share in some of that loss. Yeah, very good. So most of you know, kind of summarize as we always do, because it's good to repeat and be repetitive in terms of what we're talking about to examples. So most of you are very familiar with what we call the forward mortgage. That's the typical mortgage everybody knows of. You secure a 30-year fixed or an on product against one of your properties, and you make monthly payments on it. It's amortized for 30 years typically, and there's other loans like amortized for 20, 15, or et cetera. But most of you are familiar with those. 
And then the other thing, uh, most of you are familiar with home equity lines of credit, and that's as an alternative people would usually take out a home equity line of credit. Some would do for remodeling, for add-ons, for you know debt consolidation, for education, all kinds of different reasons. Some would simply add just to have it there for emergency. Then the other program we know about, and we're fully aware, is what well, most of us do anyway are aware of, is the reverse mortgage. So the reverse mortgage has conditions tied to it. You have to be at least 62 years or older. There is a qualifying process in place, and there's some parameters around that, and that is good for a certain person depending on your situation. Up until now, we have this program that we're able to talk about that is another alternative and just another option, I'll call it. And the reason I'm a big fan of options, if those who have been following the show you know, is that the more options, the better. And the reason why is you could sit down, educate yourself, you know, talk to me if it's a forward mortgage, talk to a reverse mortgage specialist, talk to Mark or Steve if this is an option. Really what you do is you review them all. You sit down and figure out, okay, what one is best for me? And that's really the key here, isn't it, Mark? Talk a little bit about, you know, obviously I just kind of went through the options people know about, and it's nice to get them to understand that there is another option out there now. Sure, and this is an alternative to both, you know, forward mortgages or home equity loans and reverse mortgages. Let's start with the qualification. The qualification Mm -hmm. really is based on the amount of equity in your home. So if you have more than 50% equity in your home, um, you should qualify for at least uh, several programs. And the case is that you're not making monthly payments it doesn't matter what your credit score is, your debt to income, as long as you can service your current mortgage, you're fine. And in some cases, the money that you receive from this program can be used to qualify for your debt mm-hmm. to income qualification for paying your first mortgage. So it's a very, very easy qualification process. And so it's an alternative to both home equity loans and reverse mortgages. The nice part is that the qualification is based on your equity. And so if you have a poor credit score, a lot of times what drives people is they want to pay off debt or pay Mm -hmm. off credit card debt, but their credit card score is too low to qualify Mm -hmm. for a home equity loan. In our program, you can qualify with whatever credit score as long as you have the equity, and you can pay off all those debts. And it will be astounding to see how fast your credit score goes back up once you pay off those debts and you don't aren't encumbered by those monthly payments. Right. Very good. So most of you understand that. We kind of go through it. It's a good idea to, the reason why we're going to continue to, you know, repeat these and go over them is because this is the process of education. A lot of times when something's fairly new or you're not aware of it, some people have a tendency to shy away from it or think, oh, something might be wrong with it. But, you know, just as the world is changing, you hear me say this all the time too, You know, our industry is changing, real estate's changing, lending's changing. A lot of you may hear about fintech, that's all around the the financial side of technology, and there's a lot of money, believe me, hundreds of millions of dollars a month going into disrupting real estate and lending and much, much more. So we're here in the Silicon Valley, and this is no different. And what I mean by that is what happens is over the years, it's really simple. It's supply and demand and then the consumer need. And this is another way I want to explain it is that over years, what happens is good businesses, smart people develop a new program, service, product, depending on the needs of the consumer. And the needs of the consumer continually change. And this is one of those examples to me, Mark. Yes. There's been a need as homeowners have accumulated a Mm -hmm. lot of wealth in their home. It's probably in the last study we saw 70% or greater of someone's financial net Mm -hmm. worth. So it's the single largest financial asset. And until this program, you haven't really been able to manage it in an intelligent manner. Getting debt on the property is not really managing your wealth. Mm -hmm. Using your home wealth to access it and do other things like diversify. You know, everybody, if you went to a financial analyst and you had... 70 or 80 percent of your net worth in a single stock, the first thing they would say is diversify. Mm -hmm. Well, here, most homeowners, that is their single largest asset, their home. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have people that look at it and say, well, I don't want to be loaded with all my assets in one bucket. 
I'm going to use this to diversify, to pay off my debts, to do other things. But it's a way that they can intelligently manage that wealth. Yeah. I want to suggest you think about this in another way. And I hope that, that I could articulate and paint the picture. And Mark will help me here, certainly. So if you think about your traditional investments, and again, remember, we've been marketed, and I won't call it brainwashed because it's just marketing. Over the last you know century, several decades, of course, we've been taught that you know, you invest in the stock market, you invest in bonds, you invest in different things, which is fine, right? So if, as you're putting money into these, let's just call it your stock portfolio every single year, every single month, whether it be a 401k or an investment firm, doesn't matter. You're putting your hard-earned money into those investments, which is great because the strategy down the road is that's going to be part of your retirement and savings and, and you could live on that, right? So remember, every single year that you put that money into the markets, you're paying fees on that. You're taking a risk on whether that market goes up and down. There's fluctuation. Most of us know that. We understand that. But it's still a good investment. And the reason I bring that up, Mark, it's just kind of an example to go side by side is you have your home, which is an investment, Correct. right? And every single month, every single year, if you're fortunate, most people around here, they've had an equity growth and progressive equity in your home. That's your investment right? Your personal investment. Now, so you have this equity in your home that we're talking about. You're not paying fees on it every month. Now, of course, you're, you could be paying a mortgage and property tax. But my point is, in an investment vehicle, you're paying on that every single month. And there's a cost to that investment. Here you have a potential way to access capital and funds from your property. And it's, you know, when you really think about it, I think it's just this way of educating people to give them some different ideas to think about it. Sure. A homeowner is able to access their wealth by taking this money so that you can mm -hmm. get up to 20%. <clears throat> so on a million-dollar home, you can get $200,000. There is no monthly burden on that. Right. You're not paying property taxes. You're not paying interest on it mm -hmm. until the end of the program. If your house hasn't gone up in value over 5, 10 years, and that's when you sell it, it's going to be very low cost, if not no mm -hmm. cost, money that you received. Yeah. And it's a great way to get that money without having the burden of paying either a monthly fee or accruing interest. So on a forward mortgage, you're paying that monthly interest. On a reverse mortgage, it's accruing every month, right. whether your house goes up <coughs> in value or down in value. So, for example, in a reverse mortgage, if your home has gone down in value over the period, you've accumulated a lot of interest costs. You've eaten into mm -hmm. a lot of your current equity. Right. So let's give a quick example before we take our first break. So you just gave the example, Mark. Let's say a person is illustrating as an example today. Their home's worth a million dollars today. They own it free and clear. And they sit down, put together a program with you guys, and they get 200000 so explain how that works in the terms of that value that's negotiated, or the value that at the day of the property that they get that capital. That's really the number you, they set that at going forward, right? Correct. So okay. you have a million-dollar house. Say you access 10%, mm -hmm. you know, $100,000. Okay. You get that $100,000, and then over the course of time, if your house goes up in value, you'll share a percentage of the Over and above a million. Over and above yeah. a million with right. the investor. And on the other side, if your house goes down, let's say it goes to 900000 the investor will share a portion of mm -hmm. that $100,000 loss alongside the homeowner. And given what we've seen as the run in real estate over the last 10 years, many experts believe we are at or close or if not past the peak right. of the, the gain. And as you know, real estate goes in cycles. Yep. We went through a severe down cycle, followed by a prolonged upturn in real estate. And so now it's a great time to access that appreciated home wealth. Right. Absolutely. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick break. This is Joe Kutcher with Real Estate Radio Live, sitting in the studio with Mark Rogers, Bear Stone. We're talking about accessing home wealth without debt. Stick with us. For those that are on Facebook, we'll be back in just a minute. For more information on today's program, visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com.
Getting ready to buy or sell a home in 30, 60, or 90 days? Check out BundleSelect.com to find out how you could save 20% or more on your entire transaction. Real estate, lending, and title. With BundleSelect.com, technology and a personal concierge are at your service to save you time and money. Bundle Select's hand-picked team of experts will compete for your business so you'll save thousands of dollars by bundling real estate, lending, and title services. BundleSelect.com gives you all the control, including using your own realtor. I'm Joe Cachero with Real Estate Radio Live, and I have been on the radio educating consumers for years. I'm here to tell you BundleSelect.com is the best way to save money on real estate. By bundling services, you could save tens of thousands of dollars. This savings model could save you money on your move, lower your interest rate, or cover your closing costs. Visit BundleSelect.com. That's BundleSelect.com. The estimated minimum savings are based on a comparison with the national average. Individual results may vary, and the estimated savings are not guaranteed. Bundle Select Inc. is a licensed real estate broker. California Bureau of Real Estate Broker License Number 00466902. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio Live. For more information on today's topic or guests, just visit RERadioLive.com. That's RERadioLive.com. Again, your host for today's edition of Real Estate Radio Live, Joe Kuchera. Welcome back in. Joe Kuchera with Real Estate Radio Live. Today we're in studio with Mark Rogers with Barristone. We're talking about accessing home wealth without debt. We're doing this show every single Monday, and the reason why is the continued education. Anytime there's something new that's available to the consumer when it has to do with real estate. You'll find me talking about it, having guests and experts on on a regular basis. And really the primary reason, objective is that, is to really get that information out to you, the consumer. That is another option and product for you. I get calls and emails, mostly emails and texts during the course of the week, some more than others. But most of them that I get are really about you know, how they learned something, and they, they thank me for the guest that was on there. They didn't know certain things. And this is just another example of it may not be for you. So if you're watching this on Facebook or if you're listening to this on a podcast, this may not be for you. But here's the idea. You might know someone, a parent, aunt, uncle, friend, coworker, could be anyone, that this may trigger a thought, just, gee, you know, I wonder if, if this is available And so that's the idea, too, is just share the information, share the podcast if you think it might be available. Before we jump back in, Mark, give those maybe a number and a website, how they could contact you if they're interested. Sure. They can contact us at 650-802-0800 or visit our website at barristone.com. That's B-A-R-A-S-T-O-N-E dot com. Okay, great. What I want to do is just take for a couple minutes, and we'll go through some examples. The one that I see on a regular basis, and the reason I like this product a lot, along with, in some cases, a reverse mortgage, which may or may not be right for people, is this. Here's what I see in many people in my business. So I do residential financing. Most of you know that. They've been following the show. So what I see is a fair amount of people that come to me or I talk to or a financial planner sends me or someone and says, Joe, what can I do here or what can I do to help this person? And it's kind of like this. They've been in a home for 20, 30, 40 years. They have great equity. In some cases, they owe nothing on it. In some cases, very little. And here's how this story plays out. They don't have a pension. They don't have much retirement. They're only getting Social Security. They're in their 60s, 70s, or 80s, and they're forced to go back to work in some cases part-time because they have to make ends meet, but yet they have a million dollars plus potentially equity in their home, in some cases much more. And that equity is just sitting there while this person is still forced to work in their 70s and 80s, and they're afraid to take a vacation or spend money on their grandchildren or do things to their home because they can't. I'm not doing this to be dramatic. I'm doing it because it's real. It really is. I mean, it's real. If you were in my business, and and Mark will tell you too, you meet with people like this all the time. Worked hard their entire life, 30, 40 years. Most companies, most businesses now, most of you know, you don't have pensions. Many don't, unless you're associated with a county, a government, or city, or something like that. So anyway, I see this a lot, and so this would apply. This program, again, would help someone like that. So Kind of piggyback onto that, Mark, and talk a little bit about the people that you see and some of the opportunities that may be for them. Sure. It's interesting because we've seen basically different ages use the product for different yeah, circumstances. Yeah, good point. You know, we have people in their 40s and early 50s 
that use it to pay for college mm. education, you know, because of the cost right. uh, involved in living in the Bay Area or California. They may have not <coughs> saved up enough for mm-hmm. college education, and they use this product to fully fund the children's uh, college education without having to take on that monthly burden of debt. As you get a little bit older in your 60s and 70s, people are using it more to clean up their financial situation, pay off debts. And as you get into your 70s and 80s, people are using it to supplement retirement. Mm. It's a great way, and what we find is that people still have mortgages on their property. They have two, three hundred thousand dollar mortgages. We don't require them to pay that off. Mm. As long as everyone has talked to Joe over the last three years, four years, they have a two, three percent mortgage. Mm. That's really inexpensive money, and they should keep that in Mm -hmm. place and use this to supplement their retirement. And it's a great way. You know, we just had someone who has been in his house 45 years, had a small mortgage on it, but he could afford to live on his Social Security, but he couldn't do anything else. Right. And he did our product solely, and he put it in what he calls his travel fund. And he's now said, I've got it mapped out for the next three years. I'm taking four trips a year, mm-hmm. and this is going to fully fund all those trips. So yeah. everyone <coughs> uses it differently, but as our product does not have age restrictions, we see younger people use it for different purposes as well. Yeah. We're going to go through kind of a list of the things that may or may not be obvious that you could use the proceeds for. Again, no debt, no payments. Just make sure you're clear with this. When you access this capital from your home, there is no debt associated with There is no monthly payments. So there are things. Another one that comes to mind, you know what I'm seeing a lot now, Mark, a lot. I would say, and I can't be unique, is that about 30% of the transactions I do now are coming with gift funds. So what I'm seeing is my point here is that the more and more people that buy homes and not necessarily young children with the first time or young adults for the first time, that's mostly it, but even people in move up situations that want to buy a more expensive home. Remember about every three out of 10 transactions I do, gift funds are involved. What does that mean? So gift funds are funds that are coming typically from a family member, a parent, grandparent, aunt, uncle, but the idea that they're helping someone get a home for the first time or buy a home or move up. And this is an example of how a person could use for gift funds, correct? Absolutely. What we find is parents are faced with the dilemma of seeing their kids mm-hmm. move out of state, right. which is <clears throat> exactly what you don't want to happen as a parent, to see your kid move to Oregon or Seattle And the reason is they don't have enough money for the down payment. Mm -hmm. And the parents have plenty of equity in their homes, a lot of wealth tied up in there, and they don't want to take out a loan to give the funds to the children. Our program allows them to get that cash, get that down payment assistance, and give it to the children now because the kids will get it later in life Mm -hmm. when the parents pass away. Give it to them now Keep your kids close to you and enjoy the benefits of having them close and having your grandchildren grow up and not having to get on a plane every time and see them. And so we see a lot of parents now accessing that wealth to give it to them, knowing that they're not burdened with that debt. If something happens with the children or they, you know, with the house, if something happens, they don't have any monthly payments and they're comfortable doing it that way. Yeah, excellent. The other things, of course, Mark would talked about, and we will, you know, debt consolidation, let's face it, right or wrong, it's not a right or wrong, it's not a judgment, it happens to people all the time. You know, for some reason you get accumulate debt, whether it be credit cards or medical bills. Some people, honestly, I've seen some people, things are going along wonderful. They've had savings, they have investments. Next thing you know, they get sick or they get hurt and they can't work and you're self-employed and you burn through your money and you burn through your cash. And sometimes it affects your credit. So there's all kinds of things that come up in what we call life (laughs) that happen that we don't have control over. And it's just another way to access some of the capital. So, Mark, you've seen people obviously pull money out, do something like this, or to access to consolidate and get themselves back on their feet. Absolutely. You know, there's two reasons that people have use it for credit card Mm -hmm. debt. 
we see people in typically fifty to a hundred thousand dollars of credit card debt okay. that they've accumulated, which relative to if they have a million dollars of equity in their yeah. house isn't extraordinary. But when you're paying twenty percent interest mm-hmm. on that credit card debt, it's debilitating. There's no end. We've seen them use this and put together a program where they're disciplined enough to save that monthly payment that they were making on the credit cards into savings account and hopefully you know, eliminate all their debt and start to save for retirement. We had a woman the other day, her husband had passed away. <coughs> she was uh, putting up Christmas lights several years ago, fell off the ladder, mm. and her insurance was inadequate, and she ended up with $130,000 in medical mm. bills. And they put a lien on her home. And she was distraught. You know, she had been in the house for 40 years and she couldn't get a loan and thought she would have to sell the house and lose the family property. We were able to get a a transaction done where she paid off all her medical bills, was able to put money in the bank for Mm -hmm. savings, and it changed her life. And situations like that are really heartwarming because you really help someone save the family home and eliminate the stress in their life. Very true. All right, before we duck out today, again, give the listeners in this case, and of course the if someone's viewing or the listeners later on podcast, a way to uh, get a hold of you guys. Sure. You can visit our website at barristone.com, B-A-R-A-S-T-O-N-E.com, or give us a call and we'd be happy to talk about your personal situation. And you can reach us at 650-802-0800. Great. And as always, too, for those that have been following the show, if you're comfortable or more comfortable and you want to give me a call and chat with me a little bit about it before you call Mark and Steve, feel free to do that as well. For more information, you could always go to reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Thanks again for tuning in today. Have a great afternoon. Take care. You've been listening to Real Estate Radio Live. For more information on today's program, visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Subscribe to our podcast. Discover more at reradiolive.com.